Yeah, a lot of people ask, how, how does a teacher end up running a venture a philanthropy fund? And I, I had taught for seven years, loved teaching, but felt I had plateaued and really wasn't uh, meeting the needs of my students uh, very teaching? well. I was teaching US history, and then my last year, I actually taught, um, taught teachers differentiated instruction. And for what age groups? Uh, middle school and high school. Okay. So I um, felt like I had plateaued a bit, um, decided to go to grad school, came to Stanford, um, got my master's in curriculum and teacher development. And I started hang out, hanging out a little bit at the business school, and I saw Kim Smith speak. And she was the founder of, of New Schools Venture Fund. And she talked about this idea of hybrid teams, bringing educators together with um, MBAs and entrepreneur, entrepreneurial people and, and people that had more of a business and technical background. And I was really taken with her vision of, of there's a place for me in this, this world of um, entrepreneurship. So begged her for a job. Um, she hired me on as a part-time research assistant. And I worked there for, um, I've been there, this is my ninth year actually. And so after my, so really kind of learned how to do this job um, by um, shadowing, you know, basically like apprenticeship, shadowing um, the partners at the time. I had great mentors. And then three years, uh, three years ago, my friend and I, Wei, we actually launched this seed fund um, to formalize the structure of ed tech investing at new schools. So, so let's back up. You, you've raised some really interesting questions. One is th this idea of Kim Smith had, what, nine, 10 years ago or even, even further, that was something unique. I mean, what, what was the unique insight and what were people doing before and what changed after uh, New Schools Ventures showed? Sure, so um, she had this, so she founded New Schools with uh, Brooke Byers, venture capitalist, and um, John Doerr, another venture capitalist. And they came together and they thought, can we bring the venture model into education? And can we um, bring the kind of rigor and discipline of investing in early stage entrepreneurs and support them? But the, the difference between our model and a traditional venture fund is that um, we prioritize impact. So we are, um, we're looking for sustainable, scalable, strong businesses, companies, but we are, uh, above all else, prioritizing um, impact. So that was the first difference. So what does impact mean? Are you doing charter schools or software or yeah, teacher so, training? What um, we, we have this belief that there is sort of no silver bullet for education. So the answer is not charters or ed tech or teacher development, that it's really a complex system that requires um, entrepreneurial energy in all, across all of these different sectors. So we, we do invest um, grant money to nonprofit charter schools. We have close to 400 charter schools in our portfolio. Wow. Yeah, and we invest in um, teacher training programs, and then I focus on education technology investing through the seed fund.